Hi guys, it's me, Mystic. So, I don't know why I'm out of breath, but I am. Um, today I'm going to be doing um, my no heat curls. Um, I already did half of my head, and I'm just going to show you on the other half because it would save time, and it's a lot easier for me and probably for you guys because I still don't know how to edit my videos. Life. Anyway, what you need is wet or damp hair. My hair is um damp ish. Um what I'm okay, you need a water bottle if your hair isn't already wet or damp, a brush to brush out your hair, um, depending on how many things like knots you do, you need these little bitty um rubber bands. For me, I think they work best. A comb to divide and some gel or mousse. I'm also going to be using some coconut oil because my hair is um, really, what's the word, dry. So first what you're going to do is brush your hair all out. And then what I'm going to do is take my water bottle and spray my ends and any piece of hair that might need dampened. Okay. And I'm just going to take some uh, oil and just rub it on the bottom parts of my hair. Because those are like my driest. And then you're going to take your oil or your mousse, not oil, your gel or your mousse and just put that all in your hair. This is going to be like what holds the curl. Okay. So now you have that. Um, you're going to take your comb or your finger and just divide the section that you want. And then what I like to do is just comb my hair up, but you don't have to, I mean, I do it just for me, I guess. And then I also, you can also use your finger Okay, so now what you're going to do is start twisting. And then once you twist, you're going to make a little bun or knot. Um, you can do it tightly or loosely. You can do it um, in bigger sections or in smaller sections, depending on how big and how chunky our... Um, and how loose you want your curls. Me, personally, um, I do them kind of big but kind of small. I have medium to thick hair, so um, it really just depends on your hair. But I think it's good for all hair types. Just like that. So this is going to be a two part video. Um, the second part I'm gonna be uploading tomorrow morning once my hair is dry. But um, if you don't have enough time to dry your hair, um, you can always just blow dry it, but I would recommend you probably doing these knots, maybe three to four hours 
before your event, your event or um, the occasion, just so they're not like really, really wet. Because it is supposed to be no heat, and I really think a blow dryer is heat, but. Um, whenever I do this I try not to use my blow dryer unless I really have to but oh my goodness guys my cat is trying to get up here so you can do as many knots and twist um as you want but I normally just do four because I think that's Pretty decent for my hair but you can do more or you can do less um, depending hi my love on how thick your hair is um you can also divide your hair going um what's the word Diagonal, I think, where you just go, um, like, divide it like this and have the rest. And, um, you can do, like, four going across and then just have, like, layers. So you do, like, one, two, three, four, all the way down. Or you can just divide it in two and then just do eight or, um, however. Okay, so now all your hair, all your hair should be up in these knots, um, like that. And I'm just going to add some hairspray. On each little knot. Um, what I will do before I go to bed... Since I'm still walking around my house and stuff and I don't want my hair to be really frizzy even though it shouldn't be it's all put up um is I will tie a scarf around it and just sleep in my scarf but um if your ponytails break like during the day or at night just put another ponytail on it and it should be good to go until morning anyway um so this is what my hair looks like, and then I will see you guys tomorrow morning for the finished project. Product. Oh my goodness, I cannot talk today. Anyway, bye guys.